week four of the fantasy football season. Here's a few quarterbacks I would start this week. The first guy, Kyler Murray of the Arizona Cardinals. So Murray so far, it's been up and down the first few weeks of the season in terms of playing consistent football and good football, even though for fantasy, he's put up some pretty decent numbers. Week one versus Kansas City, 193 pass yards, two touchdowns, 29 rush yards, two point conversion. Week two at Vegas, 277 pass yards, an interception, five rush attempts, 28 yards of TD, two two point conversions. And week three versus the Rams, they shut him down in that one for the most part, 314 pass yards. And eight rushing yards. So right here, week four, pretty good matchup with the Carolina Panthers. Even though we saw the Panthers shut down the Saints offense for the most part in week three. Here, I think Kyle Murray could get things going in this one. Him and Hollywood Brown have a good rapport right now. With Brown going over 100 yards and I think 13 or 14 catches in week three. Greg Dorch, he stepped up in this offense. So far, and Zach Ertz has looked pretty decent. He's got decent weapons around him. And it's only up from here with DeAndre Hopkins coming back eventually after the suspension in a few weeks here. And Rondalde Moore probably coming back as well in a week or two. So he's got a good matchup for Carolina. Him and his weapons are in line. And the Cardinals, they got to win this ball game. They're one and two right now. And I think it's all going to be on Murray in this one to try to pull out all the stops and have a good ball game. The next quarterback, Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia Eagles. So Jalen Hurts off to a monster start in the early going here. Already an MVP candidate, but it's too early to say anyone's an MVP candidate three weeks into the season here. You gotta wait a little longer. So week one at Detroit, 243 pass yards, 90 rush yards a touchdown. Week two versus the Vikings on Monday Night Football, 333 pass yards. Touchdown and ain't though 57 rush yards, two rushing touchdowns. Washington, another monster ball game, 340 pass yards, three passing touchdowns, and 20 rushing yards. So right here, week four, pretty decent matchup versus Jacksonville, even though the Jaguars have been playing tough defense over the last two weeks, shutting out the Colts in week two, and then last week holding a good Charger offense down to 10 points, even though I know Keenan Allen was out and Justin Herbert's not 100% with the rib injury, but right here, it's another home game for Philly. They're riding high right now, and I think Jalen Hurts is a must-start pretty much each and every week, and I think versus a decent Jacksonville unit in week four here. Once again, he could get anywhere from 25 to 30 fantasy points. Next quarterback's Justin Herbert of the Los Angeles Chargers. So a lot of people were down on Herbert last week and they didn't even know if he was gonna play. So he was benched in a few weeks because the uncertainty. And to be honest, he did have a bad ball game versus Jacksonville, but right here, week four, indoor game again at Houston. I think it's a bounce back because the first two weeks he played good football is Herbert. But the rib injury and Allen being out obviously has been a factor. Week one versus the Raiders, 279 pass yards. Three touchdowns, one rush yard. Week two with the Chiefs, 334 pass yards. Three touchdowns and then throw a rushing yard. And then week three, falling from behind early. The injury and a lack of weapons. 297 pass yards, a touchdown and then throw. Seven rush yards and a fumble loss. So right here, week four, Houston. I think Herbert gets right once again in this ball game. Keenan Allen, there's reports coming out so far that he's going to try to practice this week. But we still got to wait and see if he's going to play in this ball game. So right here, Justin Herbert, he's a guy I'm still going to have confidence in. It's just one down week, and he's a quarterback to start this week. The next quarterback is Jared Goff of the Detroit Lions. So Jared Goff, he's been up there in the top 10 in fantasy points so far at the quarterback position. Week one for him versus Philadelphia, 215 pass yards versus a pretty solid day. Two touchdowns and into nine rush yards. Week two versus Washington, he went off 256 pass yards. Four touchdowns, negative two rush yards. And week three in Minnesota, tough ball game, but he still put up 277 pass yards, a touchdown, an intel, and it was down to the wire in that one. So week four here has a good matchup versus the Seattle Seahawks, so one of the worst secondaries in football this season here. So I think Goff could have a good ball game once again. I'm not going to say he's going to go out there and put huge numbers up. I think anywhere from 20, 25 fantasy points is definitely a possibility. And he's got a true number one wide receiver in Amon St. Brown. DeAndre Swift, his reports coming out, he's probably going to be out multiple weeks. I think they're going to lean on Goff a little more, even though Jamal Williams has looked good so far this season. But I just like the way this offense is flowing. And Goff is spreading the ball out to St. Brown, Josh Reynolds, DJ Chark, Khalif Raymond, TJ Hawkinson. So he's got some weapons there. He's making the most of it. And what a good matchup this week here. He's a quarterback I would start in the fifth and final quarterback I look to start this week. Aaron Rodgers of the Green Bay Packers. So Rodgers, after a shaky week one the last two weeks here, 
He's been putting up decent numbers. Not the greatest at ball games, but 20 plus fantasy points for Aaron Rodgers in those weeks. Week one in Minnesota, just a down ball game. A couple drop passes. Him and his receivers weren't in line. 195 pass yards and into fumble loss in that one. Week two versus the Bears, 234 pass yards, two touchdowns, 10 rush yards of fumble loss. And week three at Tampa Bay, a very solid ball game for Rodgers versus a great defense, 255 pass yards. Two touchdowns and then in throw, and I think he's found a great option now in Romeo Dobbs, who I said was the pickup of the week here at the wide receiver position. Him and Dobbs were in sync. Him and Tanyan were in sync as well. And he's got a great matchup here, week four versus New England. So I think Rodgers, he's getting comfortable with these receivers. Now if Christian Watson could come back and be a good factor in this team. He's definitely got guys who are young and ready to go here. And Rodgers, I like as a start this week, so that's a few quarterbacks I like to start here for week four of the fantasy football season.